Hello, everybody. Nearly one in five Americans lives with a disability, and odds are the rest of us love somebody with one. The issues Americans with disabilities face affect all our lives. Along with your parents, siblings, and friends, you're part of the tradition of diversity that makes us who we are as a country, with courage and dignity. You've worked to shape a more accessible, inclusive America, one that says everybody can instead of everybody can't. Together, we're making sure more Americans have access to quality, affordable health care and life-saving Medicaid coverage. We're investing in educational opportunities through the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, which helps young adults with disabilities get the education and training they need to succeed. And we're working to increase employment opportunities for people with disabilities and improve access to housing, community support, and independent living arrangements. That change hasn't come easily, and we're nowhere near finished. But this November, we need to decide which path to take. Do we throw up our hands and tell folks, you're on your own? Or do we move forward and meet the challenges that lie ahead together? The other side says the way to grow a strong economy is from the top down. That instead of investing in education and health care for all Americans, we should repeal the Affordable Care Act, slash Medicaid, and raise taxes on middle class families who are struggling to make ends meet, all to give the wealthiest Americans a tax cut they don't need and didn't ask for. I'm not willing to let that happen. And as long as I have the privilege of being your president, I promise I'll keep listening and keep fighting to protect the progress we've made. So I'm asking you to go to BarackObama.com slash disabilities today. And join people with disabilities for Obama and don't stop there. Talk to your families, friends, and neighbors and ask them to get involved too because we can only move forward together. <laughs>